This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or encourage illegal activities. Today we're exposing 10 secret tools used by ethical hackers and sometimes by criminals. Let's dive in. Number 10 is Metasploit, the legendary hacking framework. Think of it as a giant toolbox for breaking into systems packed with exploits and payloads. Security pros use Metasploit to test their own defenses before attackers do. It's open source and free, so anyone can download it, including hackers. Metasploit automates complex attacks, making hacking accessible even to non-experts. It's updated constantly, so new vulnerabilities are always being added. The tool itself isn't illegal, but using it without permission is a crime. In the right hands, it's a shield. In the wrong hands, it's a weapon. Metasploit is the backbone of both ethical hacking and real-world cyber attacks. It's the first thing most hackers learn, and the first thing defenders test against. Its power is both its strength and its danger. Next, let's look at a tool that lets you see everything on a network. Number 9 is Wireshark, the ultimate network protocol analyzer. Wireshark captures every bit of data moving through a network websites, passwords, messages. For IT pros, it's a vital tool for diagnosing problems and analyzing threats. But in the wrong hands, it's a digital wiretap. On public Wi-Fi, a hacker can use Wireshark to intercept your data if you're not using secure connections. It's a massive privacy risk. Your passwords and messages could be exposed in plain text. Using Wireshark on your own network is fine, Spying on others is illegal. It's a reminder, always use secure websites and be careful on public networks. Wireshark doesn't break in, it listens, quietly gathering secrets. The power to observe is sometimes more dangerous than the power to attack. Next up, a tool that cracks passwords with terrifying speed. Let's talk about John the Ripper. Number eight is John the Ripper, a legendary password cracker. It takes encrypted password files, hashes, and tries to reveal the original passwords. John uses dictionary and brute force attacks, testing millions of combinations in seconds. Weak passwords like password123 are cracked instantly. System admins use John to find and fix weak passwords before hackers do. But if a criminal gets a database of password hashes, John can turn them into real passwords fast. That's how accounts get hijacked after data breaches. The tool isn't illegal, but using it on someone else's data is. The lesson use long, complex, unique passwords everywhere. John the Ripper shows just how vulnerable simple passwords really are. Now, let's see how hackers break into Wi-Fi networks. Meet Aircrack NG. Number 7 is Aircrack NG, the Wi-Fi password cracker. It's a suite of tools for testing and breaking wireless security. Aircrack NG captures the handshake when a device connects to Wi-Fi, then tries millions of passwords to crack it. If your Wi-Fi password is weak, it can be broken in minutes. Security pros use Aircrack NG to audit networks and force upgrades to stronger passwords, but using it on networks you don't own is illegal. It's a reminder, always use strong random passwords in modern security protocols. Aircrack NG is why outdated Wi-Fi security is a huge risk. Next, a tool that combines sniffing and cracking for maximum damage. Let's talk about Kane and Abel. Number 6 is Kane and Abel, a classic Windows tool for sniffing and cracking passwords. It can intercept network traffic, perform man-in-the-middle attacks, and extract credentials automatically. Kane and Abel can trick devices into sending their data through the attacker, capturing usernames and passwords in real time. It also cracks password hashes, using brute force and dictionary attacks. Security testers use it to find weak spots in local networks, but its aggressive features make it a favorite for hackers. Antivirus software often flags it as malware. Though outdated, its techniques are still used in modern attacks. Kane and Abel is a relic, and a warning about local network security. Now, meet the brute force beast, Hydra. Number 5 is Hydra, the relentless network logon cracker. Hydra attacks online login forms, trying thousands of passwords per minute. It's used to brute force everything from email to remote servers. 
Security pros use Hydra to show how easy it is to break weak passwords. Hackers use it to automate attacks on breached usernames. Account lockouts and CAPTCHAs exist to stop tools like Hydra. The tool itself is legal, using it without permission, isn't. Hydra proves why two-factor authentication is essential. Brute force attacks are fast, relentless, and everywhere. Next, a tool that can hijack entire databases, SQL Map. Number four is SQL Map, the automated SQL injection tool. It finds and exploits database vulnerabilities in websites with a single command. SQL Map can extract data, dump user records, or even take over servers. Ethical hackers use it to find and fix critical flaws before attackers do. But it's so easy to use. Even amateurs can launch devastating attacks. SQL Map is behind many massive data breaches. The tool is legal for testing your own systems, illegal for attacking others. It's a reminder, one web flaw can lead to total compromise. Now, let's look at a tool that targets people, not just code, the Social Engineer Toolkit. Number three is the Social Engineer Toolkit, or SET. SET automates phishing and social engineering attacks, tricking people, not just machines. It can clone websites, craft fake emails, and steal credentials with convincing fakes. Security teams use SET to test employees' awareness with simulated phishing. In the wrong hands, it's a weapon for mass credential theft. SET proves the human element is often the weakest link. Phishing is about trust, not just technology. Always double-check links and be wary of urgent messages. SET shows that hacking people is sometimes easier than hacking code. Next, the ultimate network map maker, Nmap. Number two is Nmap, the essential network scanner. Nmap maps out devices and services on a network, revealing open ports and vulnerabilities. It's used by admins to audit networks and by hackers to plan attacks. Nmap's scans show exactly what's exposed to the internet. It's the first step in almost every cyber attack. Using Nmap on your own network is legal, Scanning others can be seen as hostile. It's like checking every door and window in a neighborhood. Nmap is fundamental to both defense and offense in cybersecurity. The information it reveals is pure gold for attackers and defenders alike. Now, the most controversial tool of all keyloggers. Number one isn't a single tool, but a whole category. Keyloggers. Keyloggers record every keystroke, passwords, messages, bank info, silently in the background. Software keyloggers are hidden programs, hardware keyloggers are tiny devices plugged into your computer. Both are nearly invisible and incredibly hard to detect. Legitimate uses are rare and controversial. Most keyloggers are pure spyware. Installing one without consent is illegal and a massive invasion of privacy. Keyloggers are used for theft, fraud, and spying. They turn your own computer against you. Always be careful what you download and who has access to your devices. Keyloggers are the ultimate digital betrayal. Those are 10 of the most powerful and controversial hacking tools out there. They can be used to protect or to attack. The difference is intent. Use strong passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and stay alert for phishing. Knowledge is your best defense. If you found this eye-opening, hit like and subscribe for more. Let us know in the comments which tool shocked you most. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay ethical.